Uh, good morning. I'm uh, Garth Ballantyne. I'm uh, Chief of Surgery at the Manhattan and Brooklyn VAs in New York City uh, and on the faculty at New York University. Uh, it's my pleasure to uh, interview uh, a giant in uh, laparoscopic uh, and robotic surgery, Dennis Fowler. Hi, I'm Dennis Fowler. I'm currently Executive Vice President for Titan Medical. Uh, we're a startup company in the process of commercializing an alternative surgical robotic technology. So what do you think uh, is the best uh, aspect of uh, this meeting? To me, it's uh, seeing all these new technologies. Well, clearly seeing the new technologies is a great part of the meeting, but I also like uh, learning about the experience and the, the actual use now, the post-market evaluation of everything from the uh, spectral imaging uh, to some of the newer uh, tools that are being deployed through robotic technology. What do you think uh, the future then of robotic surgery is? I think the future of robotic surgery is the addition of automation and navigation on the hardware platforms. Uh, we now have one platform for abdominal surgery that's FDA approved in the U.S. Uh, within three or four years there will probably be seven or eight different platforms and after that then it's really going to be how uh, good the software is for enabling surgeons to do more precise surgery, better surgery, um, and deliver better outcomes for our patients. I think the most interesting thing for me in this meeting is sort of seeing where the boundaries of robotic surgery are. What do you think are the limitations currently of robotic surgery? Well, the biggest single limitation that's talked about in almost every uh, session is the cost of current technology. And so once we have competition in the market, we think that that will at least be partly addressed. So in the foreseeable future, we'll get past this limitation. Then beyond that, it's the limitations of the technology. And, and that's everything from the surgeon interface and the relative lack of ergonomics in the current designs to the actual functionality and potential automation of the uh, new technology for both tasks and subtasks.